George and Victor, this is a completely new way of training for you, going with these K-boxes. How do they work? Okay, okay actually, uh, this is a new device that we introduced this year inside uh, the club. And uh, of course, uh, we trust in this kind of technology because uh, we have many advantages, uh, not only functionally, also uh, logistically. And uh, at the same time, uh, following uh, the same guidelines for the junior players and the A team, uh, trying to de de develop the same kind of uh, exercises and training programs allows us to uh, yeah, work in the same way and uh, de develop the same kind of uh, trainings for the players. So, Victor, you do the same exercises with the under, under 17 and under 19 team? Yes, exactly. We try to work in the same way as uh, in the all uh, So we want to work uh, with the same principles, uh, both in the field and uh, in the gym and uh, wherever, whenever we train. So we try to do pretty much the same things. Yes. What do you know about the K-boxes? Yeah, it's uh, developed in Sweden. It's uh, quite innovative. Uh, it's um, pretty different from ordinary strength training with weights. Uh, and you have many uh, benefits actually with it. So uh, for us it's been working pretty well. This is completely different from weight training. Yeah, as you said, uh, right now uh, one of the advantages uh, we have with this kind of device is uh, that uh, we have not uh, to lift weights. It means uh, logistically we are optimizing the time, training time a lot. Uh, which allow the player to really work under a good uh, safe uh, conditions and at the same time uh, working with the flywheel devices uh, the player is uh, uh, working with his own overload it means uh, when they make the effort uh, the muscle contraction the speed that they are produce uh, moving the, the flywheel uh, is the energy that they are producing so is their own uh, overload training the, the, the one they have to support and absorb has it been difficult teaching the players how to do, how to use the machines? No, uh, not really actually. It's been, uh, of course, always with new devices you have to have some uh, training and some period where you have to learn it. But uh, it's been quite e easy actually and uh, it's pretty safe and uh, as with any kind of training you take one step at a time and you try to be very careful with your feedback to the players and they are learning step by step and uh, I think it's, it's been no problem actually with that. Mm. How much safer is it than normal weight training? I mean in that case of course there is a technical, technical aspect uh, implicit inside uh, the exercises but compared with uh, the lifting weight birds for example uh, the risk is uh, much more less, of course, because uh, there is not the gravity impact over the skeletal uh, system of the player. So in that way, um, we can uh, have uh, more confidence uh, when the player is working by himself. Uh, and the technique is quite easy to learn uh, the, the first weeks in that case of the preseason when we introduce uh, the new device. As well, new players coming from another countries that they are not used to uh, work lifting weights in the strength programs. Uh, through these devices they can perform from the first weeks uh, with a safe uh, uh, condition, as I said before. And now during the pre-season we haven't had like any muscular injuries. Do you think that the boxes has helped with that? Of course, there is uh, many science uh, studies uh, behind this uh, flywheel or kinetic technology, as we call uh, the walls. Uh, the the one sorry um, defends uh, this kind of technology, uh, working the strength uh, area of the player, and uh, it's related. Uh, a lot with uh, the prevent injury uh, muscle uh, in the player as well. I mean, the kind of effort that the player is working with it is really related with the eccentric overload contraction, and uh, the one is related uh, with a high percentage uh, with uh, different type of injuries. I've never seen this machine before, before the pre-season. Uh, are there no other teams in Sweden using it? Uh, actually, I think we are the first football team uh, to use it in Sweden, uh, but there are many professional clubs outside uh, in Europe who uses it. Uh, Barcelona, Real Madrid, uh, Manchester United uh, and many more of course. And in other sports it's pretty common as well. In, I know they use it in rugby, ice hockey and, uh, and in individual sports as well. But uh, we are really proud to be the first in Sweden actually to uh, have this in our training. 
how have you learned the machine, how to use it in the best way? Uh, I mean, we tried, of course, uh, through the different studies and uh, science uh, references, uh, explain from a basic uh, point of view and easy concept to the players how to work with it. And uh, if you want, we can just have an explication about it. Yeah. Okay, this is the K-Box device. Uh, as Victor said before, uh, it's coming from uh, Sweden uh, and it's quite a new brand. Uh, it's a really basic uh, equipment. We have one platform, one wheel and uh, one uh, vest here. The one is put it on the player and one rope. So uh, the wheel gave us different kind of energies from light to more heavy. And uh, uh, this is connected to the rope when the player is just pulling the rope up in one uh, contraction that we call concentric. The while is increasing the speed, so this speed is uh, accumulating kinetic energy in the top of the range of motion. So when the rope is uh, pulling the player down, uh, this energy that has been accumulated during the contraction, the, the concentric contraction, uh, is pulling the player down. So during that phase, the player has to work in the eccentric uh, 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 contraction, as I said before, uh, trying to uh, absorb all this energy with the benefits of the eccentric actions that many studies and research has been supporting during the last years. To improve the performance of the device and really have the maximal control uh, over every player, we try to individualize uh, every training load. Uh, and right now we have a new system called the Smart Coach. The one uh, allows us to connect uh, a screen to the device and uh, we have uh, feedback in real time uh, the ones uh, show in which moment or period or kind of effort the player is performing so in that case uh, we see that we have a really easy screen uh, really simple equipment the one is connected by a USB cable and also you have a wristband the one uh, uh, have the information about the training program for the player so the player just have to come close to the screen and connect, uh, uh, suddenly appears his training program. So he just have to choose the exercise, the one is uh, uh, planned for this day, choose it, and suddenly he can start already with the K-Box. In that case, we have the squall vertical uh, exercises and uh, really simple. In that way, the player has the feedback, he knows exactly in which treasure he has to work and uh, we can control uh, later on all the data in our main computer. And if he doesn't do the exercise properly, the machine will tell him it's too high, too low? Exactly. The feedback uh, say exactly in which treasure he must work uh, according with our training program. So he has three different words, height, so he is working over the optimal uh, uh, range. Uh, he has the right one and he has the lower, so he knows that he has to increase the effort a little bit more. But the most uh, probably important questions, will they become better football players? That's a good question. That's why uh, the device also is really light. It, uh, the weight is 12 kilos. And right now with Victor, we try to introduce the device not only in the gym, so we try to work with the contrast training. Also in the gym, but the last step of the periodization, in that case, we are at the end of the preseason. So we try to transmit all, all the strength gains to the football field and uh, specifically with uh, football actions. So the player is working uh, isolated uh, exercises with the device combining with uh, dynamic uh, displacements, for example, actions plus technical actions where the player has to uh, work a strength uh, and concrete action according with the football demands. So at the same time, we can mix uh, isolate training uh, with the device uh, plus technical actions uh, on the field with ball, which one is more motivated for the player as well. I get like uh, really happy when I get new like cameras and electronic stuff. How excited are you guys about this equipment? Yeah, very of course. It's been uh, really nice uh, starting working with it, and uh, of course we always get excited when we get new toys. So uh, no, it's been uh, it's been really good. Uh, yeah. yeah, of course, as Victor said, uh, we really trust in this kind of technology. 
uh, it gets a lot of benefits for the players, uh, not only performing, also preventing injuries. And uh, we use it uh, for both areas. The players are accepting quite okay the feelings they have from the beginning. As I said before, we optimize the time quite a lot. And uh, the results are there. We will see during the season, but right now uh, we really trust and uh, we want to invest in this kind of technology. One last question. Everything seems so easy. The players just can go to the machine. You're not afraid of losing your jobs? Of course not, because uh, they need our uh, help behind them. We try to motivate them every training. They have to be there controlling every kind of uh, action and effort they do. Uh, this is not magical, of course, and uh, the knowledge is uh, implicit in every training program. There is uh, many hours of uh, planning uh, around this kind of exercises, and uh, the combination of all the aspects uh, are making the optimal and trying to find the excellence in every training. How has the players responded? Are they happy with using the machines? Do you think it's it's fun tr training? Yeah, absolutely. They've been uh, really uh, grateful, actually, and uh, happy to be working with it. Uh, so uh, many of my guys are uh, have not been training in so many years, of course, and it's pretty new for them to be working uh, so hard as we've been doing this year. Uh, and I think uh, it's been really nice to have some new devices for them and uh, yeah they've been happy and uh, we're seeing this, the results as well so I think it's good. Thank you very much guys and good luck. Thank you. Thank you.